Good morning from the side of another road. Um, yes, today I am wearing the same shirt that I was wearing yesterday. Still smells fresh, and I'm not going to pretend that I don't re-wear clothes, with the exception of socks. If I wear socks multiple times, it turns into a bad situation. That's how you get athlete's foot, and that's how things get a little funky smelling. Morning routines are done. I brush my teeth and I put everything away. Uh, kind of redid the bed and uh, playing with the organizers down there a little bit. Um, by the way, have you guys ever tried this stuff here? This natural toothpaste. This one tastes like fennel. Right there it says fennel. I didn't know that when I bought it. And uh, it almost kind of has like a black licorice taste. <laughs> every time I brush my teeth. So if you guys aren't into the minty stuff, you could try that. Uh, I, I am uh, in between, where am I in between? In, in between thoughts. Um, <laughs> I'm in between Zion and Bryce uh, National Parks in Utah, if you didn't see yesterday's video. Uh, that's where we're gonna drive towards. I have no cell reception out here whatsoever. So I need to like check on emails and stuff. So I'm gonna drive to a point where I get some connection, do my stuff, and we'll hit the road again. Hey Bobby, why do you like soul food? Because it makes me happy. So about 30 miles outside of Bryce, I noticed something pretty cool on the left side of the road. Pretty cool because if you guys remember or have heard, I used reclaimed wood for the interior of Dan the Adventure Bus. And the wood came from Utah. And I just want to show you guys <laughs> where it possibly came from is something just like this. I'm just steps away from the highway and here we have definitely some kind of rundown shack with the most beautiful wood ever. I mean, look at the colors on this thing. So this is definitely very old. And there is lots of cool cool wood in here. This looks like the original stove. And I, I don't know exactly how these things work, but I want to say they're wood fired. So you put wood in there and then I think you put your your tea kettles and things on top. Here's an old electrical circuit breaker of sorts. Um, I'll walk around the other side just because it's it's pretty gross in here. I'd rather just kind of peek in. <clears throat> so there's the uh, the tub. Somebody's closet. I wonder what these were used for. Were these? Is this a house? Were these the people who helped out on the uh, the ranch here or something like that? The ranch hands. Um, here is another place. Uh, some serious water damage. Um, that one has wallpaper, carpet. That one's definitely a lot newer, but look at how beautiful this wood is. That's awesome. I think I just spotted something that my mom had when she was a kid, and if you guys are from a rural part of town, you probably know <laughs> what these things are all about. Sorry, I'm just trying to make my way through the sagebrush over here. <coughs> this right here is an outhouse. Here is the unit on the far right. This looks like the, uh, I'm guessing the workspace. Again, some strange 
wallpaper on here. Interesting. Uh, some barrels of something over there. Interesting. Well, I hope if there were any ghosts in there, it didn't uh, mind me stopping by. Just coming to appreciate the beautiful wood. I have heard your comments in the comment part of my videos saying that you guys want longer pans of, of my my shots and stuff and more steady so was that good <laughs> let me know in the comment section I'm trying to trying to improve here and trying to give you guys what you want all right as you guys know or may not know part of this whole journey is to get more familiar with the United States. So anytime I see a cool place like this, I definitely want to stop in there. I'm gonna specifically inquire if they have a vintage bottle opener. Well, hi. Good morning. Good morning. You know what I see as I sit here? What's that? I see the words, adventure awaits. Oh yes, every day is an adventure. Am I supposed to be jumping on that bus? You could. <laughs> you, got, you got any money for diesel? It's getting expensive. I met the sweetest lady who owns and operates this place. Her name is Cassie. Uncle Dan, you know, Dan the Adventure Bus is his main squeeze. Her name is Cassie. They both like roosters. So I thought, well, since I'm passing through and had such a lovely conversation with Cassie who didn't really want to be in the video, which is totally fine by the way, I thought I'd pick up a little, little something, a little memento. Also, mission accomplished. I found a bottle opener. Now we just have to find a home for it. So Cassie also gave me her uh, mailing address because she wants me to send her a postcard. So <laughs> that'll be fun. Um, all right, let's continue onwards. Can you guys see how snowy it is? <laughs> it is coming in from literally all angles. It's coming in from the front, from the side. It, it's, <laughs> it's very snowy right now. Um, but I'm not worried about it. This isn't the kind of snow that's gonna pile up all of a sudden here. Um, it's a very dry, almost kind of like hail snow, you know? guys are seriously bummed right now holy crap it's one thing to drive through the snow in these cold conditions in a vehicle but it's a whole nother animal on a motorcycle and here's two more I feel so I'm sorry guys maybe they plan for it maybe not and it looks cold Like I said, guys, all you gotta do is show your annual pass and your ID to a friendly person at the front, and then you get right in. I'm stopped over here at the uh, visitor center. Just gonna fuel up a little bit. Today's lunch is a peanut butter and prickly pear sandwich. The uh, prickly pear that I got yesterday in Zion, at the in the city of Virgin. Delicious. Alright, first stop is called uh, Inspiration Point. It's quite fitting since uh, I want to inspire you guys to travel and see the world more and check out beautiful places like this. Rip, rip, 
Just for some perspective, you park the car there, a short little walk, and then you get to see all of this. So, if you guys are looking for <laughs> a small investment of energy for a big payoff of beauty, this is the place to come. All right, here is the top of Inspiration Point. You can take a different rim trail that way. It goes all the way down and around. We're gonna go slightly higher and uh, have a slightly different perspective. You know, I was thinking with all these photos I'm taking, maybe I could do a book of my travels with like a daily diary, a uh, little background of the picture. What do you guys think? You could throw it on Kickstarter and, you know, do it that way. So, if you think it's a good idea, let me know in the comments. Weather changes rapidly up here. Just a few minutes ago, it was kind of sunny. Now, it's windy and snowing yet again. By the way, guys, I just met the coolest person way back up there. I think we both started talking to each other because we have bright colored jackets, but <laughs> this is uh, Eleanor. She has been- Hi, guys. <laughs> she's been touring the United States on a freaking bicycle. How insane is that all by herself? How long have you been going at this again? Almost two months now. I started <laughs> March 5th after quitting my job. Sweet. Two, two job quitters. High five for that. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, and how many states have you been through? Oh, so I started in Virginia and then North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, Alabama, Mississippi. Louisiana, mm -hmm. California, um, Nevada, and then here I am, Utah. <laughs> but there's still more to come. So, um, and where did you go from, um, like on your trip, like bicycle, then you hopped on some trains or something? Oh yeah, so I, I took so I took a train from, it was too cold on the East Coast, so I took a train from New York to uh, Richmond, Virginia. And then, I don't know why I picked Richmond, Virginia, I think it just like, I had heard that name before, and so I just like, picked it on the map and then I cycled all the way down uh, the New Orleans hanged out in New Orleans for like five days really great experience and then I took a train from New Orleans to LA and um, cycle it's called the Sunset Limited beautiful train ride and um, took a train and then hang out in LA took a train from LA to San Francisco and then cycle around Northern California and then there was a storm in the Sierras, so I couldn't cross the Sierras. So I took a train from San Francisco to Reno, and then I've been cycling since then. <laughs> That's so cool. And she might be doing some kind of some writing or a book or something. And tell, please, tell all the women out there. <laughs> that it's safe to do it by yourself. It's, it's really, honestly, it's like, I'm not like, you know, I'm very adventurous. I'm not fearless, but it's like one of the most beautiful experience I've ever done. People are so nice to me. I've like stayed with people. People have invited me in their hotel rooms to like stay because they didn't know I needed a warm shower. It was, it's like, it's super safe. You can do it. It's like, I don't know. It's just like, then once you're on your bike, once you start, it's like, you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. So we're trying to find her bike. She stashed it up here somewhere. So we're gonna see her adventure mobile in a second. All right, so here we have Eleanor's yeah, Ferrari. <laughs> do, you, do you have a name for your bicycle? I do not, but this bike, um, I got it, I think it was like two years ago in New York. I was on a bike ride with my parents in Queens on the way to Jackson Heights to get Indian food, and my old bike broke, and they were like, and I was kind of sad, they were like, uh, 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 we're not gonna stop here, we're gonna get you another bike. There was kind of like their present. Um, and 
And so, so it's my New York commuter bike. It's not a bike touring bike. It's not a road bike. It's like nothing. That's amazing. And it's, it's, it's you know, it's a super affordable bike. Um, very well designed. You know, you have a space for your water bottle and this. And then I got some for this trip. I got this like two panniers. And then I see extra t uh, tire I got, here. So huh? I yeah, I broke already. I broke a wheel, and then I broke a tire. So I was like. And then I got this new tires, but I got this, I, I kept my old one because it was not going to be worn out. Mm. Um, and then I, I have this tent that I got because I catered an event at State New York <laughs> in the summer. Um, mm. And then here's my sleeping bag that I also got at that event I catered. Oh, that's right. The sleeping bag is inside and, and some it's a, it's a, it's a, rain inside pants. A, a pair of rain pants. The extra, extra, extra large that someone gave me because it was super too rainy. So it was a little bit too big for me, but I figured I could always fit my sleeping bag in it. Wow, that's insane. I gotta say, this is inspirational <laughs> right here. I mean, I thought I was living a minimalist lifestyle, but she beats me in the minimalist department for sure. Honestly, it's the best trip ever. <laughs> that is so cool. That was certainly cool. We exchanged that uh, info. I'm gonna start following her on uh, Instagram and vice versa. Um, I haven't seen the rest of the park. This is the first part that I p pulled over at. And uh, so, looks like I'm gonna pick up Eleanor at the Sunset parking lot and then check out more of the park. And, uh, you know, maybe g give her a sandwich or something like that. <laughs> So now we're checking out uh, Natural Bridge. By the way, there's a bunch of little turnoffs. Oh my God, look at that. There's a bunch of little turnoffs with many different things to see along the way. And I gotta say, this is maybe the second coolest one compared to uh, that sunset part, the part where we walked down to where bike was. snowstorm yet again um, but you know the weather's been changing every I don't know half hour or so so I'm gonna guess and say it's gonna like, clear up at least cross my fingers because I want to get a cool sunset time lapse well we're gonna do the camera goodbye we just uh, hugged it goodbye but uh, I'm sure I will see you at another point in time I'm sure we will. <laughs> <laughs> cool good luck on the bicycle Outside of Bryce um, National Park, I kind of messed up in a big way. Um, today was awesome, by the way, but last night I was freezing my butt off um, because I had passed through uh, Nevada and it was getting warm, and also St. George, um, where I was running some errands for a little while. It was warm there too. For some reason I was thinking, well, spring has sprung. It is now warm. So when I took back my sleeping bag to Walmart because the broken because I had a broken zipper, I didn't exchange it. Uh, for some reason I was thinking I was gonna get one at the next 
place I go to or something or get a better one at REI. I don't know what I was thinking. All I know is I don't have one. <laughs> and if I stay up here in the mountains, it's going to be like 24 degrees or 30 degrees tonight. And shiver me timbers, two blankets are not going to cut it. Trust me. I'm going to be freezing my butt off. So, we got three possible options. A Walmart in Page, Arizona, over by Horseshoe Bend. Don't want to go there. A Walmart... And why Walmart? I don't know. It's because there's no REI around here. There's there's a Walmart up in um, somewhere north of me, or there's a Walmart way back in the city where I was running some errands. So kind of go back uh, to the starting gate, if you will. However, there's a dude who I do want to meet up with, who, whose videos I've been watching, and I do think it would be pretty cool because all three options are two hours away. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing phenomenal on my like gasoline intake on this like part of the leg. I was driving less than 100 you know miles a day, like awesome. However, I really messed up, and I'm gonna be paying for. It's gonna cost me more in diesel than it is to purchase the new sleeping bag. Crazy, right? Anyways, so uh, long story short, we're going back. Uh -huh.